Hola amigos, bienvenidos a otra edición de Latinos en Michigan TV. Les habla Liliana Ospina. Esta semana Lansing fue noticia nacional después de que el consejo de esa ciudad la declarara Ciudad Santuario. Por eso decidí visitarla y hacerles esta nota. Veámosla. Hace algunos meses, el presidente Donald Trump firmó órdenes ejecutivas para eliminar subsidios federales a la ciudad de Santuario, pero esta semana Lansing desafió esa orden al ser proclamada ciudad santuario por el Consejo Municipal y hay mucha expectativa sobre lo que va a pasar. We hope that uh, by actually putting on paper the things that the police Uh, we're already doing in Lansing. Yes, we were a welcoming city in Lansing, but where did it really say that? Where was it written somewhere that the police are doing this? Yes, we are practicing it, we are doing it, but where did it say that on paper? The police are already doing this. The police do not ask for immigration status when they stop and, and, and if they see someone, or they are dealing with someone that might be undocumented, uh, Lansing police uh, or the outlying areas, they don't ask for their status. Well, yes, we know they're not doing it, but where is it written somewhere that they will not do it? There's never any guarantee that they will not do it. We were just asking them to, can you please do that? Can you write it somewhere? Varias organizaciones locales influyeron para que Lansing fuera declarada Ciudad Santuario. LEAD es una organización de estado nacional, muy nueva. Ha estado involucrada en, últimamente, la ciudad de Sanctuary. Fuimos uno de los grupos que, en realidad, we were one of the groups that actually drafted the resolution and submitted the resolution to the Lansing City Council. Actually, was passed through a combination of It was passed through a combination of executive order through the mayor and also with some actual um, conversations and working with some of the city council members. Con el objetivo de que los indocumentados y sus familias se sientan seguros en Lansing. I think that they should uh, at least feel safe in knowing that the Lansing police do not ask for immigration status. They should feel safe in knowing that because that's always been their practice. I know that the groups that I belong to, we have worked hard to work with the police, the local police, to, to get them to a point where they do not ask for immigration status. So now that we have this in writing, so we're hoping that this is going to help the families be able to come out be able to go to church, be able to go to school, be able to drop their children at, at school and feel safe. Para esta y otras informaciones de Michigan, suscríbanse a mi canal en YouTube Latinos en Michigan TV o síganme en Facebook en Liliano Espina o Latinos en Michigan TV.